Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we're always thrilled to get a visit here from Alzheimer's Services of the Capital Area. It's a condition that really touches almost everybody in Baton Rouge, whether it's a relative, a friend, or any other kind of family member. So they're, it's really important they're doing this work out there. And here, tell us about some of the great services they offer. And a great event coming up is Dana Torito. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. Obviously, I, I know so many people. I guess with me, I'm in my mid-40s now. And, mm -hmm. and lots of folks who are my age uh, have parents that are dealing with this issue. I mean, it's really something that touches everybody. It does. It does. I mean, we see it every day at work. And our organization mission is to teach, care for, and connect to those individuals in our community who are suffering from memory impairment diseases. And so connecting is part of our, and teaching is part of what we're doing at our upcoming educational conference in April. April 20th, Living Well with a Purpose. And so in that we're trying to help people not just exist with Alzheimer's, but live well with Alzheimer's. Joyce Samard is our keynote speaker and she'll be talking a lot about that during the day. So if I'm somebody who either is, is dealing with this, you know, in my family or, or, you know, for people who just need to know more about this, I mean, tell me a little bit about, in terms of this conference, what are some of the things that people who, who have to live with Alzheimer's can learn from this? Uh, well, healthcare professionals and caregivers can come and learn not only how to care give and uh, have their individuals that are affected with the, with the disease live well with a purpose, but key tips and strategies to avoid caregiver burnout, mm. um, which we see so often with caregivers, but also have giving a purposeful life to those that have Alzheimer's or dementia because they do still need that purpose every day to get up and do something well. And so um, this conference will really center around that, along with helpful tips of um, Dr. Owen Carmichael will talk about the trifecta of Alzheimer's, which is high cholesterol, uh, heart disease, and uh, diabetes. Wow. And so there's research going on now at Pennington that's, that's going to have an impact on Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the caretakers because obviously I think when people think about any disease they think about the people who suffer from it but they don't realize that this is something that affects the entire family. It does. It does. It takes a village to care for somebody with Alzheimer's disease and so Alzheimer's Services offers all these programs in addition to our educational conference for caregivers and their affected individuals. We have arts and Alzheimer's. We have a respite reimbursement program that can reimburse that caregiver to hire someone to come in and take care of their loved one while they get a needed respite during the day. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. so. so I know people are going to want to check this out. I mean, kind of take me through it. If, if I want to attend this great event, where do I need to go? What do I need to do? Go to our website, uh, alzbr.org, or uh, call us at 334-7494 and we'll get you set up or come by our office at 3772 North Boulevard. The first 200 get this wonderful book. It's a great reference book on Alzheimer's disease, Mayo Clinic. So the first 200 registered gets this book free with their registration. Outstanding. So. I know one of the other great things that, that I love to hear about at Alzheimer's Services of the Capital Area is Charlie's Place yes. and what a great asset that is. Tell me a little bit about yes. it. Yes, Charlie's Place, if we're always talking about purpose now, what a great purpose for someone to come there for six hours a day and enjoy music, art, all kinds of activities and socialization mainly mm -hmm. because they get so isolated and their caregiver gets a respite. And then on Tuesdays, we start a program that's four hours that the caregiver comes with their loved one and enjoys four hours of interaction. And they really bond and make friends, and it's really a day to look forward to. Got just a few seconds left. Tell mm -hmm. the folks where they could go to find out more about your great organization or about this exciting event coming up. Okay, call us, 334-7494, or go on our website. Everything's on our website, alzbr.org. Thanks so Thank much, you. Dana. Appreciate it. Thank you sure for having thing. me. Well, there's lots of exciting things coming up this month right next door in Livingston Parish. Take a look, everybody. We are here to support our hotels and RV parks. And the way we do that, we promote events, festivals, different museums, the movie industry. Youth sports is huge for us. We always push that over 600 miles of waterways. If you like to fish, if you like to relax, if you like to just ride boats or jet skis, Livingston Parish is a perfect place to do that. We're right there along I-12, runs directly through Livingston Parish. We have Interstate 55, so we are a perfect location, not only for tourists when they're coming through from Houston to Atlanta or whatever, they could stop you know, as a halfway point and stay in our beautiful hotels, but also for businesses. Tourism, it's not just 
people going on vacation. So construction. We have Juven Crossing, a new development there in the parish, and a lot of construction workers staying in our hotels. It's easy for us to sell it just because of the perfect the convenience. It's a very large parish too. And you have the west side that's kind of uh, your larger Denham Springs Walker hotels, restaurants. We have an award-winning Bass Pro. We have the Antique District also, one of the three largest antique districts in Louisiana. So you can go Tiki Tubing, go down Amy River. We have KOA. They have putt-putt golf and a swimming pool. People really love uh, the KOA there just because, because of the convenience, the restaurants. They can park their RV there and then go to the Antique District, go to Bass Pro, go eat. Then also we have Lakeside, which is uh, along the interstate as well. It's very nice, very clean, a 17-acre lake there, so you could go fish. You don't have to have an RV. They also have a couple cabins that you can rent out. Greystone is a beautiful golf course here in Denham Springs, right off the interstate. A brand new clubhouse, great for events, Olympic-sized swimming pool, tennis courts. And if you like golf and you like a little challenge, I would, I would ask you to go to Greystone and, and check it out and let us know what you think about it. LIGO is something I would encourage if you have children and even adults, if, if you're interested in science, it's one of only two facilities in the United States. The other one is in Washington State. It's a scientific facility. They test gravitational waves. Scientists from all over the world are there. Robert Reynolds does a great job with the World War II um, reenactment and the festival they have going on. They meet at Old South Jamboree, which is a very historic music venue here in Livingston Parish. The New Orleans World War II Museum is involved bringing equipment up there. They have all your vehicles, your tanks, your trucks, the Tickfall 200 it goes on the first weekend of May. It has now become the largest powerboat poker run in the United States. People love it. We have helicopters come in, uh, limousines driving in, and you, you wouldn't think down in this uh, Springfield you got limos coming, but it's a big weekend. We have the Redneck Regatta, and this is something totally different for probably some different people, but it's something that is very enjoyable where you make your own boat. So for those of you that can't afford you know, the million dollar boat, make your own boat and come enjoy the, the, that day for you to have races in your own boats. A lot of times we push because a lot of things happen on the west side, Denham Springs, of course you have your restaurants and Bass Pro, but the east side has a lot of history. In Albany, Springfield, home to the largest rural Hungarian settlement in the United States. You have Carter Plantation, which is the only plantation home in Livingston Parish, it was actually built by a free man of color. And that is on, you know, of course, Carter Plantation Golf Course, a David Toms designed golf course. Uh, Springfield being the third oldest uh, town in, in the state of Louisiana. And in Springfield, you will find the first courthouse ever built in Livingston Parish. Tick Falls State Park is kind of a hidden gem, we like to say located uh, just south of Springfield. There are cabins, you don't have to have an RV. There's a splash park for kids to play in, walking trails throughout the swamps along the river. You could fish there at Tickfall. It's a nice little getaway, even if you live in the parish. We have several species of birds that people like to just come down, take pictures, and sit back and relax and enjoy nature. So it's just a diverse, really diverse parish. Even for somebody like me that grew up in Livingston, I didn't know that was here. I didn't know we had this. So to find out what's going on with events, festivals, hotels, restaurants, check out our website. It's livingstontourism.com. We keep it updated. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, visit Livingston Parish and Twitter. Always posting events and giveaways on a daily basis. New events. We have events going almost every weekend. So check it out. Stay up to date with us on our social media and our website. Great stuff going on in Livingston Parish. Well, when we come back on Across Louisiana, we'll tell you all about fashion for a cause. Don't miss it.